Good afternoon. I am Martina Chako. Extend a hearty welcome to all present for the webinar on intellectual property rights organized by St. Francis Institute of Management and Research in collaboration with Center for Intellectual Property Rights, Anna University, Chennai. St. Francis Institute of Management and Research was established in 2002 by the Society of the Congregation of Franciscan Brothers to impart quality education in the field of business management. It is recognized by AICTE New Delhi and has permanent affiliation with the University of Mumbai. FEMAR have been aggregated by NAC with A plus grade and is also an ISO 9001-2015 certified institute. A core of experience and faculty, qualified faculty bear the responsibility to impart high quality education to aspiring students at FEMAR. FEMAR offers full-time two-year ma Master's of Management Studies and a part-time three-year Master's of Business Administration program affiliated to the Mumbai University. FEMAR also offers full-time postgraduate diploma in program approved by AICTE. FEMAR is one of the top business schools with a consistent record of 100% result and 100% placement with strong network with industry and academia. Creativity, invention, and innovation have been the enablers to progress and de development in any knowledge-driven and market economy. The process of research and diploma undertaken in any sector in India has set the wheels in motion to foster creativity and innovation. In this context, parking creativity and innovation from the budding management professionals, research scholars, librarians, faculty, and staff members is pivotal to develop knowledge resources. The in internal quality assurance cell and learning and information resource center of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research, Mumbai, is organizing a webinar on intellectual property rights today. That is on the 25th of February, 2023 from 1 to 3 p.m. This webinar on intellectual property rights intend to spread awareness on the types of IPR, filing of patents and copyrights to the students, faculty and staff members, librarians and research scholars. It is also aimed at synthesizing them towards the entrepreneurship and commercialization issues of IPR. We are happy to have with us Dr. M. Kanta Babu as the resource speaker for the webinar on IPR. Dr. M. Kanta Babu received his BE in Mechanical Engineering from Coimbatore Institute of Technology, Coimbatore. He has completed MS by Research and PhD from Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. Based on his research work, he has published more than 100 technical publications in reputed international and national journals and conferences and applied for 23 patents. He has been granted seven patents as well as an industrial design and a copyright and published eight books. He is presently working as professor in the Department of Manufacturing Engineering, College of Engineering, Gwandi, Anna University and Director, Center for Intellectual Property Rights, Anna University, Chennai. He is qualified and, certif and a certified patent agent. He has been recognized as mentor for Institute's Innovation Council by Ministry of Education in New Delhi and as facilitator for startups by Indian Patent Office. He is the recipient of Indian National Science Academy Award. He is a life member of ISTE and fellow of Institute of Engineers India. It is my pleasure to extend a warm welcome to Dr. M. Kanta Babu. I request Dr. Smita J. Sudasan, IQAC coordinator, to welcome the gathering. Thank you, Martina. A warm welcome to one and all present for the webinar on intellectual property rights. I extend my hearty welcome to Brother Alphonse Nesimini, 
Chairman Swimar, Dr. Shalini Sinha, Director Swimar, Brother Xavier Munda, Registrar Swimar, and Dr. G. Ramesh, Deputy Director and MMS Program Head for the webinar. They have been a source of constant support and extend their cooperation for all the activities of IQAC and LIRC. I graciously welcome our resource speaker for the webinar, Dr. Kanta Babu. He is a beacon of light and always ever willing to share his knowledge and expertise in the area of intellectual property rights. On behalf of SWIMAR, I cordially welcome all the participants of the webinar, faculty and staff members, students, librarians, and research scholars from various colleges and universities in India. We have had a very good response of approximately 500 registrations for the webinar. Thank you for your willingness to participate in our webinar on intellectual property rights. I also extend my hearty welcome to all the faculty and staff members, students and research scholars of St. Francis Institute of Management and Research. You all have been the enablers for all the quality initiatives of IQAC. Thank you, ma'am. Let's invoke God's blessing through the peace prayer. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. light. And where there is this, sadness, this sadness joy. joy. O divine, oh, divine master, master that, that, that I may, I may not, not so much seek to be, to be consoled as to console, as to, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving, giving that we receive, it is in, in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Now, the session about IPR is about to commence. I have, if you have any queries to be addressed by the speaker, kindly post them on the chat. At the end of the presentation, the queries will be posted to Dr. M. Kanta Babu. The link for the feedback will be made available at the e end of the Q&A session. We are eager to listen to you. Over to Dr. M. Kanta Babu. Thank you. Please allow me to share the screen. Yeah, it has come. Yes, um, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Thank you very much uh, for the nice prayer and the introduction. I, on behalf of the Institute, I also welcome you all uh, for this wonderful workshop on IPR, Intellectual Property Rights, Startup and Innovation. And uh, well, I would like to directly go to the topic. Others please, put in mute. Others, please put in mute. Okay, thank you. Uh, first of all, I would like to. Dr. Kanta Babu, sir. Can you hear? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, you're audible now, sir. Okay, thank you. Uh, before I start my basics on IPR, I would like to tell uh, what is the basic difference between invention and innovation. Because as I know that the groups are uh, having a very different categories of people uh, from librarian, faculty, and students, and so on. So let me start from basic. Then I'll majorly cover on copyright, uh, which is very useful, especially for librarian and other things. On. Okay. What is meant by invention? Okay, invention refers to any new product. The first time if you are coming with a new product, let us say a fan or a smartphone or anything newly into this world, and it is, comes under the category of invention. 
innovation means if there is a plan, if you are uh, if you are able to if you are able to upload a new thing let us say internet connectivity fan iot based fan okay then you are able to operate the fan by means of remote control if you add on features typically in a mobile phone uh, you can switch off the phone you can switch on the phone uh, by using your fingertips or your voice message or your uh, eye recognition or face recognition so on each one are added in existing smartphone if you had this type of content then it is comes under the category of innovation okay a typical fan is an invention first time in this world but if you improve that fan in terms of power consumption or in terms of operating the remote then it comes under the category of innovation okay so both for both we can apply for patent but basically you should know what is the invention what is innovation first time phone a telephone is an invention and so on okay with this background uh, i would like to start my presentation uh, normally uh, a uh, fresh idea will be comes from uh, then it is called invention if you improve further then it is called invention what is this meaning of this today's session intellectual property rights how to understand this word simply like that uh, typically i am going to explain about the importance of rights now uh, let us say if you purchase any two wheeler or a car you have to register in one office rto office road transport office what is the purpose of registering your two wheeler or car in that particular uh, or to all this uh, if you register in your name you own it and uh, what is the advantage of that let us say you park that vehicle in a mall or in a cinema theater when you come back after the movie if you see somebody sitting inside the car you can say please uh, this is my car please leave this car i have to go like that even if police wala comes and uh, you ask one simple question uh, in whose name it is registered if it is registered you in your name you have every fundamental rights so that is the meaning of rights typically another example if you purchase any flat in mumbai if you register in one office let us say sub register office uh, where you take registration of marriage certificate also in that office if you go and register you get fundamental rights what rights nobody in that particular flat should not stay without your permission you can stay or you can rent it and so on you get some fundamental rights similarly if you have an idea if it is a new idea if it is a innovative idea if you register that idea in the patent office in india it is also in mumbai chennai uh, delhi and kolkata for you it is in mumbai if you register a new innovative idea in that office what is the for advantage or rights you will get is nobody in this world should not think about that idea you have an idea about a story of making a film and if you are able to write that idea in a paper and if you register that idea in the copyright office in new delhi nobody should not use that kind of a story in any movie and so on whoever goes and write fill it and write fill it in copyright office will get that rights okay similarly you will get fundamental rights also for any products that is where you go to patent office let us say you have beautiful design of your fan the fan with ten blades or something like that if you have a new design of your fan or a tv or a monitor something let us say oval shape monitor if you have a new design shape for that also you can go and register in the patent office as industrial design what is the fundamental rights you'll get if it is your idea is new to this world first time in this world you'll get rights for that that is the meaning of rights in this world intellectual property rights what is property property means land building an innovative idea is also property okay let us say if i show uh, mcdonald symbol m everybody know it's mcdonald company if i if i want to share shoe company with tick mark you will say nike similarly that is also an intellectual property it is registered in people mind it has got also value on that that is also the property don't think land and building is also property when you are able to register something in people's mind it is also property the other way of property is like this a typically if you take steve jobs he is an idea to build a smartphone he want to bring 25 equipment in this smartphone typically a radio or a map or a music recorder or a camera everything in one smartphone it is his own idea when he built the prototype it, now he made developed the product and now the company owns twice the economy of the government see the property of the apple they have more than 10 of bigger people in this world 
so the innovative idea is also property don't think that only land building or property the idea comes from your mind the idea comes from brain if it is new innovative novel then it is also have property value that is the what, what the seminar is about today okay then intellectual any innovative idea comes from any human being you are called as intellectual you are supposed to call intellectual if you have any new innovative idea that is what the meaning of intellectual property rights so if you have a innovative idea which comes from human brain okay that is also a property if you register that property in a proper manner then you will get a fundamental rights that is what intellectual property means okay you may study in different branches you may start you as a student you want to start a business when you start a business you may have a product the product may be new to the world you may improvise the existing product then it comes under the category of innovation first before releasing the product in the market before you release in the market before you make invoice before you sell the product in market you have to register that idea in the patent office okay when you, after you apply in fact next day you can release in the market then your idea is protected for 20 years okay that is the what the meaning of this intellectual property rights typically what is the different between entrepreneur and startups let us say entrepreneur okay you, you make a fan assume you are making a fan already fan is existing in the market same specification you are making it and if you are selling it in the market that is called entrepreneur because the fan patent life is over anybody can make now you want to improve that fan innovation comes you will let us say you want to start a factory after finishing mba and your fan will have remote control to fan there are advantage of using remote control old people can use children can use from sitting position and so on like okay like tv watching without remote is not possible now similarly fan with remote will come automatically assume it is your idea you have to first register in mumbai patent office then next day you can release the product in the market and so on. what to use if anybody copied that idea in the your idea of fan with remote control you can sue them whatever they earned money you can get into three times that is the fundamental rights you get it okay what is the basic difference between entrepreneur and startup here is entrepreneur means already existing fan is a same specification is sell it in the market without any improvement or any addition or new innovation okay if somebody later later somebody comes with same spec same fan with lesser cost he will lose the market chinese fan will come with half of the price everybody will lose the market all entrepreneur have to close the factory whereas startup company means an innovative idea should be added in the existing product then they have to register that idea in the patent office when they register in the patent office next day also they can register as a startup company that means nobody should not use that idea you get the fundamental rights intellectual property rights 20 years you can remain in the market 20 years nobody should not make that product this is the basic difference between a startup company and a entrepreneurship okay so in your institution you may have entrepreneurship cell but you should think of creating okay startup cells startups means everybody should have innovation in that product without innovation in the product if you sell it to the market anybody can compete and they can capture the market but if you have innovation in your product and registered in the patent office nobody cannot touch the product for 20 years you get the fundamental rights that is about the intellectual property rights okay now uh, when you go to the patent office and file this is my new idea i would like to file this is nobody in this world they will ask fundamentally three questions okay one of the first question they ask is what is whether your product is novel in this world novel means new not published anywhere that idea should not be disclosed in a journal paper or a conference or in tiktok or in facebook or whatsapp the idea should be first disclosed in mumbai patent office then it is called novel novel means simple okay novelty any mphil people any phd holder has got novelty in their work okay now if you have a new innovative idea you should not tell to your spouse also you should not tell to your girlfriend or boyfriend you should first indicate the information in the patent office if you tell to somebody novelty will be lost okay that is the meaning of understanding of novelty the another one is inventive step inventive step means a technical improvement i told you simple fan a fan with remote control is a technical improvement a fan is iot based fan internet of things fan as soon as before you enter into room the fan will be switched on 
and you can come com command your fan using voice control then it is called an advancement technical improvement then it is called as inventive step the second one is inventive step there should be a technical advancement from the existing product okay the third one is industrial use application the product should be usable in the field of people people should be used somebody make the product it should come out okay there will be three criteria so when you apply for a product for innovation to get patent okay they will ask only fundamentally basically three questions even when you do phd work you ask this question when you are research scholar when you do final year project work you ask basically these three questions you will be successful what are the three question is novelty your idea should be new to this world you should have some technical advancement in the product and you should be usable if the three things are there i think definitely you can also successful in life okay right now i am showing a product this product is uh, typically a paper clip one person uh, made a rod steel rod a lengthy rod that is also patented another person thought of using this rod in a different application he folded the rod for paper as a paper clip now don't think this is the end of the world this may be invention okay somebody can make improvement okay typical improvement is like this so many people have made an improvement like this they have folded in different way when they return the statement they said that if you fold like this you can hold more paper if you fold like this you can hold the paper with more force on so they approved it and they got also patent okay simple likes like this okay don't think patent is very complicated like that now you can see in my slide there is a safety pin which is used most by the indian women this is 120 years old patent that means after 20 years anybody can use any kid may make the patent and sell it to the market why i am showing this product in this screen please watch the screen why i am showing this product because whatever you see in your eyes in your office in your classroom in your seminar hall in your home in your bus in your train whatever you see in your eyes any product you have seen in your eyes it has went to patent office as a document then only next day only it is released in the market you are not aware because you are a faculty or your library or your student okay any product you see it is first went to the patent office in the form of document okay any two wheeler or four wheeler you see in the road it has first went to rto office for registration any flat occupied by the people it is went to the registration office for with somebody name like that similarly product has to be done like that so if you are training a student to start a company if they want to come with a product then see that they went to file first patent then they start the business okay this is a typical uh, learning process for them okay now i am going to see another three slides to understand entirely the program about what is idea you can see this kind of stamp is used in cricket we have been used once upon a time and the cost of the stamp may be 1000 rupees with dst it may come more on 2000 rupees okay that is what the cost of the stamp total cost of stamp but we will not be using this type of stamp in the current scenario why because you know i cannot give accurately in out i cannot give you i cannot see from the longer distance according to icac rule when bills and stamps are separated by 1 mm you can give out but you 1 mm you cannot visualize from 22 watt or 30 yards sometime fielder will or or the player will uh, Uh, come in front of the stamp you cannot see the stamp so they went for uh, some more in inman for this invention assume this invention a product a stamp is in inventive invention product somebody came with innovation so somebody came with an idea uh, as soon as the ball strikes when the bales and the stems are separated immediately the light will glow as soon as the light will glow then the third ampere will check whether the bat is inside leg is inside something like that so he can able to take quick and correct accurate distance why this term is important without term now the one is no match is played especially t20s or one day international how this term is important as okay this term helped us uh, uh, when we are win when the world cup in 2012 when dhoni was not given run out because of this term but in the last world cup uh, dhoni was given run out because of this stamp only so it make a crucial decision and the decision making is very important especially these run outs in terms of cricket okay now my question is 
uh, what is this stamp? Okay, who is holding this stamp like that? Who is what is the innovation in this stamp? Okay, somebody has went with the stamp with this idea to the patent office. Okay, sir, I have innovative product in my hand. Uh, please give me patent like that. Okay, now that person, as soon as he submits an application with this stamp, they will ask three questions. They will ask first question, what is novelty in this? Then he simply replied, as soon as the ball strikes the stem, when the stems and bales are separated, the light will glow. Okay, this is the first time in this world a new idea has come. Second one, then they asked, what is the technical advancement you have made? He said that uh, inside the bales, inside the bales, there is an electronic circuit, there is a LED bulb, LED battery, and there is also a sensor, a metal-based sensor. All are integrated inside the base. In a mobile phone, a big camera, a big mat, big everything integrated into the mobile phone. That is also inventive step. Here, he has integrated the uh, circuit board, LED light, battery, a sensor, everything inside the bales. And this is metal-based sensor. So they put metal based part on the top of the stamp. When you see from the front view, you can see this metal sensor and this metal part will touch each other. When they are separated, light will move. So this is the arrangement is made. This is the technical advancement he has made. Based on that technical advancement, okay, he approached the patent office saying that I have a novelty, I had a technical advancement, and this stamp can be used for cricket. So the three criteria met, and he has, he has been granted. Please uh, mute her. Okay. Now, who holds the patent? Okay. Who Please, sir, you can you unmute? Dr. Kanta Babu, sir, please can you unmute? You are not audible. Ah, okay. Now, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, who owns the patent? That's the question. Okay. Okay. This this kind of stamp is owned by a, a person from Australia. Uh, so he basically went to the patent office and filed this idea. He say he has a new innovative idea in the stamp. As soon as the ball strike, uh, the stems and bits are separated, the light will go. He made a technical advancement like that. He made uh, everything inside the bales, also on the stamp. And he says that it is very useful for cricket. Then he went to the patent office in Australia because he's an Australian and filed the patent. Okay, now the question is, uh, what is the cost of this stamp? Okay, normally the man for making this stamp is only 12,500. Okay, our old stamp is around 2000 with GST, and this stamp is 12,500 manufacturing cost. But he sell it in the market for 25 lakhs, one set 25 lakhs. Okay, in a ground, normally he sell four sets. Why? Because if somebody is like um, uh, when Mumbra bowled or well, Pandya once run out, the stick is broken, they cannot continue much with the old stick. So they have said they every every ground, every ground spend one crore for this stamp. And he made a rule also. He dictated the rule because he has got fundamental right. What he dictates when you used for one credit stadium or when you use for Chepak Stadium or in Bangalore, you should not use in another stadium. That means every ground is purchasing this stamp for one crore. Okay, ordinary stamp costs 2000 rupees. If you want correct and quick decision, you go for this stamp. He says, you buy it for one crore with me. Then the question is, is you know it is only 12,500 making charges, but he is selling at one crore, 25 lakhs per set. Then can you make it in an same stamp in the market and sell it in the market? The answer is no, because he applied patent. He applied patent first in Australia. Then also, after that, he applied patent in almost all cricketing playing nations. So any cricket playing nations want to use this stamp, they have to purchase only this man, Becker man, and only he will be selling in this world. And he says one set is 25 lakhs. 
you have no other choice to purchase that is what the advantage of intellectual property rights he has having the rights to make and sell this particular stamp nobody in this world are never allowed to make this stamp if somebody makes he will put a case and sue and stop it so whatever they have earned also you will get back so that is the advantage of this ipr intellectual property rights okay this is a typical example how if you have an idea if you implement that idea if you make a prototype first you file a patent then you get automatic advantage like that typically like that you purchase the land or you purchase the flat in mumbai you register in your name you get fundamental right nobody cannot stay in that house without your permission you can stay or you can rent it it is you to decide what rent to be given if you purchased a two wheeler or a car if you register in your name it is your right nobody sit cannot sit in the two wheeler nobody cannot sit without your permission in the car that fundamental right you get similarly for any product whatever you see in your eyes a mouse a monitor whatever you see if you patented it if somebody want to use that idea they have to pay royalty to you okay that is what about the intellectual property rights okay so there are many ipr in many sports activities in cricket itself you can go for drs system i hope now many people are given out lbw that is also an ipr only 12 crores for that to install in each ground and in football there is a goal line technology okay a camera will be focused on the goal post all image process will be taken place and if the ball goes inside the goal post even if the umpire doesn't see don't worry because there is a watch with the umpire which will give an alarm that the ball is gone inside so there is a goal line technology this are all 15 crores all european grounds and all fifa matches are played with this technology only in tennis we have a system to monitor to check the whether the ball hit the line or not wrong in each match each set a, a player can go for two reviews and this are also deciding factor for winning the cup so this is 15 crores something like that. so if you have an idea like this if you go for match cricket don't enjoy the match think of in such a way if you contribute technically something in there if that became very important for decision making you will be the richest person in this world okay so that is what the ipr nobody should not copy that idea nobody should not use that idea and so on another example i give you where you cannot do patent okay let us say sky okay you all know who is sky uh, surya kumar yadav or the dhoni is famous for one shot uh, helicopter shot and so on this cannot be patented it is only method of hitting the ball okay where ball can be patented bat can be patented okay the stump can be patented shoe can be patented pad can be patented gloves helmet everything dress can be patented but the method of hitting the ball cannot be patented okay so patent is given for product or process also process means making of tea the making of laddu is also making of tablet making of paracetamol tablet is also process so in combination of some chemicals okay so you should know what can be patented what cannot be patented and so on okay now uh, now we have come to the basics of ipr this intellectual property rights are broadly classified into patents i told about patents so what give an example for patents you will see some other examples in other part also patents is for product okay product or process here dunlop tire i have given here it is a product okay but you see good good year as well as mrf is also having patent how it is possible everybody is having tire company everybody is having patent how the process in which they make the tire is different okay good year tire process is different mrf tire is making different okay you make laddu you can get apply for patent neighbors can also make laddu they can also apply for patent but the process is very different if there is a difference in the process then also you can apply for a patent so the process in which you make may be very good very high mechanical strength then you will win the race okay right then another one is uh, industrial design design means shape of the product okay as soon as you see the bottle shape i hope you now be told it is a coca cola it's for nobody in this world should not make cold drinks in this shape bottles bottles in this shape they can make any other shape but they should not make this shape because this shape has been registered in people mind it's coca cola that is also property this kind of shape you can register for industrial design 
if you, I hope you have a water bottle on the table that uh, uh, the speaker there introduced the one, one lady has introduced me. She's having a bottle bottle on the table on the left hand side. That is also applied for shape. If you take if you take that bottle, nobody will not make similar shape. If somebody makes similar shape of that bottle, they can be sued. Okay, it is a uniqueness. Shape is also uniqueness. If there is a uniqueness, it can be protected and you can also register in the patent office as industrial design. Okay, then another one. This one is M, belongs to McDonald's and you can see the symbol R here. R means registered. Sometimes you might have seen TM. TM means trademark applied. Okay, there are agents like me, some agents are there for patent as well as trademark. TM refers to trademark applied or refers to granted. Okay, what is the meaning of this M? Okay, M refers to McDonald's, everybody knows. But I have not put here McDonald's, but you, are, you may be knowing it is a McDonald's because it has been registered in people's mind. Okay, so I write, you may start a company, you may register the company's name as a trademark. You can also register your logo as a trademark. Okay, the typical example I'm telling. After completing MBA, what you should do? You should start a company or you should join a company. When the company is not registering this name as well as this logo, it should be protected. Let us take in your uh, college itself, St. Francis Institute of Management. Okay, uh, it should be registered. Why? If somebody starts with the same name, you can protect it. Okay, they may spoil your name. Okay, then there are two logos used by your institute that can be also registered. Why? Well, it has got nobody should not use misuse that. Okay, in, let us assume if you not register, what will happen? In front of your college, somebody can start a building, can, can start an institute also. They can name it also as Saint Francis Institute of Management. So you cannot stop it. So that is the advantage of trademark. Okay. Let us typical example I'll tell you. Can you start a name called Google.com? Can you start a company name called Zomato? Can you start a name called Flipkart.com? Because already these names have been registered. You cannot start. So when you start, you should coin new word and you should give a logo with a new symbol. That is then only you can register. What is this use? It will create in people's mind. It will tell your quality and so on. Okay, McDonald's has got quality in the food. Whenever they see big game on the road in the US, they just enter. They will not know when they will not read this McDonald's company and all. They will see big game. They know this is only McDonald's can use it and they will go and eat. They will not check what else like that. Okay, that kind of image they are creating in people's mind. Service mark. If the hospitals, college can use that as a service mark, it's also a trademark. Okay. Then there are trade secrets. Trade secret refers to, let us say, Coca-Cola formula is a trade secret. No need to register. Tripadi Laddu is also having a trade secret. Okay, nobody will not tell you how to get the taste. You make Laddu, your mother makes Laddu, you sell it for 25 rupees. In the same shop, you sell Tripadi Laddu for 50 rupees. People will buy only Tripadi Laddu. You may cry. This is my mother made, please buy 24 rupees. Nobody will not buy. Because they have created the name. They created the name and fame, taste, because of that secret. So that secret should not be told to patent office. It should be with your organization or with you. Okay. Another one is GA. Okay. GA is referred to geographical indications. A typically name of the place will come with the product or a component. Let us say Darjeeling tea. The tea, any tea manufacturer in Darjeeling can use the name because they are rich under society or a group. Any members who are making tea in Darjeeling can register. It has got its own taste. Okay, even Tirupati Laddu also. Then Nak, Kanjuburam Saris. Name of the place will be associated with the product. Okay, you sell normal tea and Darjeeling tea. Darjeeling may be higher price. People will buy only Darjeeling tea because of the taste and so on. Okay. So these are all the various components of intellectual property rights. One of the component is copyright. Okay. What is copyright? How to click copyright? What is the benefit also? You see. Okay. <clears throat> Who grants patent? That is the question. Patent is granted by the government for any invention or any innovation. 
you can be the inventor in, in your institute you have an idea you filed a patent your college will become the inventor uh, what do you call as applicant if you for this program for nrf ranking or nac 10 marks for this program when you conduct any program innovation if you apply a patent and publish it is also 10 marks if it is granted it is 15 marks okay so there are advantages when you start program on innovation research typically 20 years life okay patent is life is 20 year from the date of application territorial right means if in indian government grant patent it is applicable to india okay don't think in pakistan it will be also have right like that there is no international patent or global patent patent should be applied country wise let us say the cricket person cricket stamp only is invented he is belong to australia he has filed also in india he is filed separately in uh, west indies he filed separately in sri lanka everywhere wherever country is paid so every country have to do it iphone they have done it in 165 countries okay starbucks they have filed in 100 countries google has filed in 195 countries only that means nobody should not start a company called google nobody cannot make a product like iphone and sell it in the market you can get only in the stores and so on okay what is the use of patent that question is the uh, institute will get 10 10 marks okay what is the use for it you can make only you can use it you can sell you can import you can distribute nobody you got the, the exclusive right nobody in this world cannot make that is what the ipr if you have an idea in a product if it is registered in the patent office nobody cannot make and use okay there's a typical one you have okay typically starbucks there are more having more than a coffee shop in uh, us having 500 patents uh, if you take uh, what are the different ipr here i'll just explain starbucks coffee is the name of the company which can be registered a trademark this logo is also can be registered a trademark they have a unique uh, tumbler okay right this also patented what is the uniqueness innovation is here is there is a sleeve here item 24 which can protect heat it is made special paper from brazil from a tree cut from a tree so they uh, hot tea is poured but uh, you cannot feel the hotness because of this one for that they get patented the shape of this tumbler has been got for design okay they made a hole here okay right now so there are many things okay there are also trade secret whatever inside you see here all compositions are trade secrets of the starbucks coffee so in a typical company you have all the component of ipr okay now a typical coffee company in us file 500 patents no patent has been filed because they are not aware about this sir please tell me simply how to get patent like that okay one person has found pencil another person found eraser what other person has done third person has done he has clubbed both that is also patented okay this is also simple sir i am a, a graduate master degree mba tell me a highly technical stuff like that then you can take simple like this a fan will not be cleaned in your office and whenever you want you can spray you can allot a time so that it will go on fragrance the whole room this is one of the innovative ideas right i think everybody knows in your, your michael jackson is very rich uh, because of his dance and other thing but he has become rich because of one patent that nobody doesn't know what happens is he one of his idea is in a shoe in the shoe there is a slot okay But whenever he dance what happen one particular point of time a rod will come out from the stage background and he will insert that shoe into the rod and he will bend 30 degrees he will bend 30 degrees where others will bend only 20 degrees so he everybody thought he is god godfather okay of dance they call him nataraja of uh, 
uh, equal to God. Okay, right. He he was able to do a thirty degree. When others do, they will try to fall. So what happens? Because of this, many people come to show and uh, they paid huge amount for this. But the secret lies in patent a product where he used a shoe. Okay, after six months, what happened? Other dancer also come to know how to use this and so on. So they started also using this. Uh, okay, Jackson kept quiet for three years. He allowed everybody to use. Almost sixteen dancer and users started using this. They make many, money, many more money so on. So finally, he called all people and told, "This is my patented idea. You all misused my idea. So whatever you earned, please pay me twice. Otherwise, I'll go to the court and the court you have to pay me fine three times." So those who have used this idea, they paid twice the money they earned. That is how Michael Jackson became very rich. Okay, right, sir. Tell me simple like that. There is a spoon here. You can see at the top. Uh, this spoon will control your eating. If you move the spoon 30 times up and down, it will say you are eating too much. Stop it. It will give an alarm and it also give a cell phone on SMS and WhatsApp message. Immediately, whatever you are telling in WhatsApp, you will obey. You will not obey your mother word or your spouse word. But if WhatsApp, if it is said, immediately you will obey. So it is indication that you should not eat too much like that. One of the innovations where the divorce rate has come down in US because uh people get snoring and uh, during especially male gets more snoring during the night and uh, the female cannot be able to stop spouse gets not be able to sleep so they came with an idea keep some device on the back of the man and automatically when they sleep they cannot sleep well and they cannot feel freely so they stop snoring and they also got the patent and so on okay so there are uh, patent in everybody part of life you can also do it don't think only engineering college student can do it or arts college can do science college like that mba student want to start an industry start a company start with innovative product do not start with as an entrepreneur start with innovative product okay come with innovation when you start, when you think there is innovation in there first you file patent next day you start the company or sell the product okay do uh, until then do not involve in the business don't make invoice if you first is made invoice you sell the product if you go to patent office you cannot get patent what is the advantage is 20 years nobody cannot use that idea that is the advantage you get you can right sir i am a female student tell me what female have done okay most of the 45% of the patent holders are females innovative idea comes from females okay easily right uh, now one of the girl in the final year be have done a project uh, on cycling as well as gym machine okay this cycle will also be used as a washing machine he is able to rotate and this rotation of the shaft is connected to the uh, motor for a like a motor for a washing machine so he has got a patent okay then baby carrier okay what you used doll i hope every uh, every girl member has been with the baby doll barbie doll i that is also patented whatever you see in your eyes it is patented you are not aware about it Okay, now the question is: There are many section which are not patentable. I think those who are interested, we can go in detail later. Right? Uh, but you should know that uh, what major, majorly you cannot do patent is uh, uh, all this uh, cinema, all this uh, serials, okay, live telecast. All things cannot be patented. You can take copyright. That I'll discuss. Okay. Now, uh, trademarks. Okay, when you talk about trademarks. i told you name of the company or as well as the uh, name of the uh, emblem or logo can be that label also you can do it sound marks also there okay let us say when james bond movie is there first time when james bond is introduced they will give a sound that sound nobody should not use in this world because it is registered by a company okay similarly when you watch avm or gemini studio or any movies there will, there will be sound initially coming you should not use it something like that okay i already told you how they distinguish trademark tm and r okay trademark of 10 years okay after 10 years you get renewal and so on why trademark is important okay let us say these are deceptively similar okay sabina and subina the left side sabina is the original one but assume the right side product is displayed in the mall you go to a mall to purchase some kind of a powder
market. You want to protect your idea. So the naming is also very important. Okay. It's a typical example for trademark and so on. Okay. There are many things in market like Karol Bag or in Chennai, Burma Bazaar. example i can give is biscuit uh, you make a round biscuit and biscuit is smiley face you keep in the table the two tray you check that all people will take mostly 90 percent above that will take biscuit with smiley face on it you see for assume it's your idea you can register that idea you can sell more biscuits in the market okay this is a typical design shape you can also register okay now design design in a company uh, the uniqueness of the shape of any product is can be registered. Typically, Amla has got inverted U shape at the top. That means no bottle manufacturer should not use that inverted U shape. They have registered for that shape. Okay, one person has come with like that. They made an infringement case and then win it. Okay, right. There are typically, let us say, iPhone and Samsung look similar, but they distinguish. Okay, they put the round symbol for starting buzzer. Okay, they have put the left hand side the uh, phone, microphone, all things, small, small changes they have made. Okay, typically you can make uh, small changes and do it. Okay, these are all the different. Okay, now let us come to copyright. Copyright is one of the important types of IPR. Okay, how Ile Raja or A. Raghman take copyrights? Okay, then I, then you, I hope you can understand. First, they will uh, discuss with the owner or producer. And with the producer, Ilaya Raja will get fundamentally right. In writing, you'll get all rights goes to Ilaya Raja company. If the producer doesn't give, you will not um, make a song or you will not compose music for that film. So the music director has to say, the producer has to say yes. Sorry, you are muted, sir. Okay. Uh, can you see my screen? Is it okay now? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. So we were discussing about copyright. Okay. Nilay Raja takes fundamentally every right from everyone. And he now composed music. He recorded it in a CD. He will write notes for the music. He take a printout of that. Both now the notes as well as the music in the CD is taken copyright. So copyright you can take in two forms, either by expressing in the paper or in the CD. You have to send to copyright office. Okay, next. What is the use of this? Why Ile Raja taking copyright? Okay, now if you hear any song in FM radio, okay, an Ile Raja song or any they have to pay, let us say, 1,000 rupees per song. Okay, there is a program called Super Singer. I hope you know Super Singer program in TV. For every song, they have to pay to the musician. Okay, right. This is what happening. By like that, they are earning monthly 1 crore, 2 crore like that. Okay, this is fundamental earning for Ilya Raja. How much years? This is valid for Ilya Raja life plus 60 years. Person life plus 60 years. Like that, all the music directors in India earning crores of rupees per month from the copyright. Okay, right. You've written a book. Okay, you can also take copyright. You can also sing a song. You can record your song in a CD and send to copyright office Delhi. But no use of that because nobody is not ready to hear your song. So if you want, 
which one to be copyrighted, then you have to decide. Similarly, uh, there are a lot of issues. Let me talk. In India versus uh, Pakistan was playing last T20 match. Last one overs were very critical. One person shown continuous live match from a TV. He recorded it. In, he showed it in his YouTube channel. Within half an hour, the police went and arrested him and put him in jail because it is the live telecast is owned by Sony. So nobody should not sports. Okay, then nobody should not. Uh, show live or something like that. That is the right, fundamental rights you get. Sir, I am a librarian. What I should do? Any students comes to the library and take full book of these rocks, you and the students will get punishment for six months. But nobody is not doing. You should not allow a student to take more than one chapter. A teacher in working in the institute can take four or five chapters. Okay? They should not take more also. So there are fundamental basics beyond fair use. Okay, fair use teachers are allowed. Teachers should not 60 copies and distribute. If teachers make 60 copies and distribute, teachers can be also penalized. So you should know what is the fair use. Fair use means what? Let us say uh, you there is one Springer journal. Now I am taking a photo or of the photography or figure from that. I am now doing my research. In my research, I use this my figure as my reference. I have to take permission from Springer. I have to write to Springer stating that this journal, this date, there is a figure six. I'm going to use for publication another journal. Okay, please give me permission. Sometimes they will give you freely. Sometimes they charge you 5,000. With that only you should do. Otherwise you'll get into plagiarism. And plagiarism also more than two sentences you should Edited Microsoft or something like that, they will come one day, take you all your money, all your money. Okay, one day they'll take you whatever you earned. So do not, if you start a company, do not use pirated one, use original one not. Okay. <clears throat> Can you able to hear me? Please say yes, sir. No? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes. So there is a copyright office in New Delhi. Okay. Uh, now any questions so far? Any questions? You can put me in chat box. Any question also you can ask me. No question means uh, nobody is listening. No, we are listening, sir. It's clear. You can please go ahead. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, copyright, when to take copyright? I told you, no copyright, you can take it in a two form. Either as in uh, by paper or in CD. I saw one of the prayers in the in your program started. If that prayer is composed by your people or student, that can be also taken as copyright. Okay, I don't know from where it has come. If it is composed by you people, if there is a song for your college, a special song, that will be also taken as copyright. Okay, and you should be original. That's all. Okay, right. Now, apart from even you take, you can take question papers. Okay, as a copyright, but no take. After the exam, it will become a waste paper. You can also and take copyright. Nothing wrong in that. Okay, uh, but you won't take some copyright for your uh, college. Uh, to get ranking, to get marks, your website can be taken copyright. Okay, you can approach a patent or agent or a trademark agent like me, then we will make arrangement to get copyright for your book or copyright for your website and so on. 10, 10 marks for this in NRF NAC ranking. So I am also a peer committee member. I went recently to Delhi and also to Chandigarh where we have even see, checked all these certificates and so on. Okay, right. So copyright can be taken by a writer or a musician, okay, one who otherwise an architect or dramatist, an artist, cinematographers, okay, right, everything can be taken copyrights. Now to avoid this piracy and all, now OTT has come, so they make 
they try to do it at very level. Okay, you can take book, pamphlets, letters, okay, and uh, like this. So these are typical uh, copyright material. Your painting, drawing, maps, okay, plans. These are all the typical examples of uh, uh, copyright photographs. Okay, uh, I hope I told about Ilay Raja, and uh, now he is on one crore per month minimum, uh, whereas here Ragman is earning three crore because he is able to reach in most part of India and so on. Okay, uh, cinematography. Sorry. Sir, what about the text, sir? Text? What about the text? You did not mention text. Yes, sir. Anything you express in paper, sir, you can take up it. You have to think uh, what is the value of that. If you are able to take a book, then it is useful. Okay. I told yes. you, if you, even if you sing a song, uh, you can record it in a CD and take copyright. But you should decide when to take copyright. Are there any people ready to hear your okay. song? Then you take copyright. Otherwise, don't take. For you, you first you think in terms of college and in terms of you okay uh, very important in indian act uh, patent act uh, there is a problem with the software okay software and soft computing your website is a soft computing it is not an hardware okay so now what happens you cannot file patent people think they can file patent soft computing alone you cannot uh, file patent it has to be integrated with hardware then only you can do apply patent. Typically, uh, in WhatsApp, uh, it's only mostly soft computing, but they've added one phone symbol, WhatsApp call. If you click that call, it will go and call another person phone. It integrates another soft hardware. When it is integrated with another hardware, then it is patentable in India. Like that, if you do, it is make, you can easily patent. Okay? But in US law, it is in US, Okay, software is also patentable in US. Google has got 7,000 patents, but in, uh, in India, they have got less because they have not integrated with hardware. But Uber and Ola, you see, Ola has come about uh, uh, copywriting. Okay, textbooks, books, all things are there. Right. But uh, if you sing a song for two minutes, let us say there is. Uh, in Tamil Nadu, we, we call it a cook with Komali, wherein one of the Komali will sing a song for two minutes. Uh, it is allowed, no need to take permission. Okay, if there is in terms of fair use, you can sing a song for two minutes. If you make entire song, then you have to pay. Let us say you have in a marriage function, you arrange a music composer where you sing full song and they make money because you pay to them. That guy has to pay royalty to Ilaraja or Rahman or whoever makes a song. But it is not practiced, but they can sue it. Okay. So these are about the copyright. Okay. Once you want to copyright, there is a form. Okay. Fill to be filled and sent, and you will get it. Okay. There is a cost for each one. Okay. For if you take copyright, you need at least 500 rupees. You have to pay officially charges and so on. There is a systematic procedure. Uh, starting from start to end, they are given here, right? Now, let us come to another topic, GA, Geographical Indications. I told you, name of the place will be associated with the product, typically like uh, Darjeeling tea or Kanjiburam silk or Tripadi laddu. Uh, anything famous in Mumbai like that? Any product has been named along with Mumbai? Any, any product has been named with Mumbai? Like Mysore silk or Mysore uh, uh, soap? Mysore sandal soap, like Kurk orange, Nagpur orange, anything like that, any famous in Mumbai. Okay, so these are the GIs has been granted uh, all over, uh, all over uh, India. Uh, what is Nirmal uh, Toys and Craft, Hyderabad and King? Nirmal Furniture. Okay. And this is what we from Tamil Nadu, there are many GI, geographical indications, like Kanjiburam Silka, Tanjavur doll, okay, Madurai Manli, like that. Tanjavur painting is all there. We have Coimbatore red candle. These people have registered 
there, there must be relation between the uniqueness of the place and the origin. Okay, then only it can be findable. Now uh, you can see a product. I am going to give an example. In this product, uh, what are the different types of IPR we will going to check? Okay, there are different IPR we have de decided. Different component, let us say forms are uh, like patent, industrial design, copyright, trademark, like that. Okay, now in this product, as soon as you see pre cut, you must know what is the patent here. In this product, the patent is whole product. Now the question is how many patents? There are many patents. In your car, there may be 100 patents. Steering is one patent, horn is one patent, door is one patent. Okay, similarly in this bottom part is one patent, top is one patent, diesel is one patent, handle is one patent, something. So there are many patented products are there. If you make the whistle sound a music like air, Rahman, you will get also patent. Okay, now uh, you can protect this shape using a design, industrial design. Okay, then there are some trademark here, trademark, premier trademark and logo can be registered as a trademark. Copyright, how this product relevant to copyright, how to use this cooker, how to handle this cooker, how to close this cover, everything, you can make a manual and take copyright. So in a product, there are different types of IPR. One is patent, another one design, another one is trademark and copyright. So many forms are there. Why I'm telling this? Because when you see product in your home now, as soon as you go and open a fridge or as soon as you see the washing machine or anything TV in TV, you should know now what are the different types of IPR in it? What is the name? What is the copyright there? What is the design? What is the patent? If you are able to visualize differently, then you will be a successful MBA candidate. Okay, now she is taking a water bottle. Now the bottle shape can be protected. The name of the company is there that can be protected. Okay, so cap is protected. The way in which you made the cap is also, you can make water bottle, IoT made water bottle that way now based on iot it will be telling you in your phone still how much water is there then what is the temperature of the water if you have made addition that then innovation comes okay it will be very useful for the elderly people and so on okay whether you can take the bottle or not so that is maybe the ipr okay right okay who can apply uh, anybody can apply even a kid can apply in ipr india Okay, no issues in that. And there are certain procedures to be followed in patent office. Okay, once you submit an application, there will be an examination. In the examination, they will be asking you what is the novelty, inventive step and application. Once it is there, they will grant. And there are certain forms to be filled. Don't worry about this form. A patent agent, good patent agent will take care of all the things. These are the minimum forms to be filled. Do not five patent directly, first or two patents. Why? Because if you purchased any land or flat in Mumbai, there is a document to be written, registered, to be registered in sub register office. You cannot write the document. Even though you are a faculty member, you may be a big librarian, you cannot write because there is a technical or legal document. It should be done with the experience. Similarly, do not write any document initially. Go to a trained person or experienced person or a patent agent. Okay. Okay. Then what to be written in the document? These are things to be written in the document. Okay. And uh, there are certain fees. Official fees is around 8,100 if you pay online to file a patent. Okay. Patent agent like me charge another 20,000 extra. If you go to a lawyer, they may charge you 50,000, 1 lakh, something like that. Okay. There is a renewal fee also is there. Okay. You can file patent online also. Right. Now, I have come to the last slide. Uh, now, what we've seen in this class is different types of IPR like patent, industrial design, legal indications, copyright only. Each one protects different things. Don't think everything protects same. Different things they are protecting. Each lifetime is also different. Let us say patent is for 20 years. Design is for continuous life, but 10 year renewal. Trademark is also 10 year renewal. GA is also for... 10 year interval and copyright is for personal life plus 60 years. So there are various forms. And now I just gave an introduction to you today. Uh, maybe we can continue in future also based on your interest, what specific topic you want, how to file, how to draft, 
Okay, what are the forms to be filled, everything in future. Now I left it to open to the participants or audience to for question and answer sessions. You can ask me questions or you can put in chat box. Any questions, please? Okay, Kolapur Chappas from Maharashtra. Very good. Mm -hmm. Hello, sir. Yes. Good afternoon. afternoon madam. Uh, so my name is Dr. Smita. There's a question that appeared on chat. Yes. So the question was from uh, Miss Ashu Jain. So she has asked a question like how patents can be filed in commerce. Okay. Because he is belong to commerce. He definitely asked this question. There is no doubt. The question should come like that. Uh, see, commerce is basically an idea. And uh, they can write it, uh, express that idea in a paper and they can take copyright. For patent, you, you, need, you need a product or a process. Process which lead to product also. Okay, I'll tell you the process means the making of a tab paracetamol tablet. Okay, you may there's a process involved, you have to combine the things and finally you get a product in the tablet form. Okay, product means a typically a phone or radio, something like that. Okay, now uh, these commerce people, if they have an idea or a theorem, something like that, they can write and take copyright. So a question has been asked by uh, Mr. Subash. No. His question is how a patent can be filed in the field of literature? See, uh, in the literature also, uh, it is only copyright. Copyright because if let us say, I'll tell you simply how mathematician can get patent. This mathematical equation has to be soft computed. First, you have to make soft computed. Okay, then you have to integrate with the hardware. Then you can file patent. The software person can integrate with the hardware directly and file file patent. Then this literature, okay, have to be demand made in the form of product and demonstrated. Okay, then by actually literature may be taken simply as copyright. They can take a print out of the paper and send it to copyright office to take copyright. Any other questions, please? Uh, yes, sir. A question has been asked by uh, Dr. Balam Prag Karangi. Yeah. Very so, good. Uh, so his question, what is the difference between a paper published and a patent? Very good question. Uh, this question every teacher knows. If you have published 100 papers, it is all waste. Okay, waste paper. No use in that. Uh, then, but if you file a patent, next day also you can submit for publication. You are not aware about that. What is the use of that? Once you file a patent, Next day, you are submitting a paper to same content to content. You can write this part of the work is filed in Indian Patent Office, Mumbai. You can give the application number. What is the use of it? If, if let us say you have, you have a wonderful idea, you published in the journal, anybody can use that idea without any payment because your domain is open, open domain. Whereas if you file first in the Patent Office, and if anybody use that idea, they have to pay royalty to you. That is the basic difference between first publishing in the journal, first informing in the patent office. In patent office also, there is a journal they will publish. Okay, our teachers doesn't know this. Without knowing this, they simply publish. Okay. Yes, patent should be filed in the name of institution if you have original or originated the work done the work in the university if you are used in your institute your resources of the institute your student then it should be filed in the name of the institution if you made anything in the home with your spouse you made something anything in the home which you have not used any resources of the university or student then you can file in your name you are the applicant you are the owner but if you use the resources of the institute, then it should be filed in the name of the institute. One filing in the name of the institute only will get marked in NAC or NARF ranking. Patents, once you once you register patent, patent life is 20 years. Okay, if maybe 15%, 20%. 
a good information available all over the world in patent office so you have to search there first you do thorough search you will get you similar idea is the existing or not then then we will give you the if you give the differences we will give you the draft okay once you finalize we will apply so it will take at least for us it i need at least 15 to 30 days to complete the project patent drafting then we will submit online then within uh, one or two year you will get examination if the examination if you respond properly you will get patent in the examination they will ask only three questions what is the novelty what is the inventive step and what is the application patent related to stock market no it is uh, only the assumption of the things but uh, the way in which they display any other questions please okay uh, if there is no can you say both that can tell yes we, we have introduced uh, ipr course separate course for all student we made compulsory ipr course to students especially master degrees and we have for bachelor degrees we have come with special electives you can initially offer an elective subject uh, for faculty member uh, interested can take this and students interested can use this future is on the patent startups so on okay so any management guy we may start a company it should be a startup company for that startup company what is the basic requirement is a patent then how to make it then he may be learning other skills also so without product he cannot run this business successfully in order to withstand in the market he should be a startup company okay the innovative company and so on okay uh, if there is no more question we can uh, close it you you can also uh, mail me my mail mail id is like this and uh, if you want you can leave me whatsapp message any doubts on patent copyright filing other things you can give me whatsapp message i will also respond no issue in that okay thank you sir welcome the feedback link has been posted in the chat kindly yeah. fill the form and e certificate will be emailed to you within one week of attending the program i request ms sara patel mms student coordinator to propose the vote of thank good afternoon to one and all i sara patel take this privilege to sincerely thank our distinguished a distinguished guest dr m kanta babu for accepting our invitation and enlightening us with his commendable talk on intellectual property rights it was very knowledgeable and interesting thank you sir for letting us know about what is ipr copyright trademark fair use difference between entrepreneurship and startup companies process of filing patent and importance criteria for getting patent and what can be patented and what not classification of intellectual property and all this with very relatable example i thank our chairman brother, brother alphonse nesimeni sema director dr shalini sinha registrar brother xavier munda deputy director dr j ramesh for their co support and guidance in organizing this event i extend my thanks to all the participating colleges faculty and staff members students research scholars and librarians for their presence and involvement i thank i express my thanks to the iqsc and lirc team of simar for organizing this insightful session on ipr special thanks to the it department and mr madhav swami for all the technical arrangements and support provided special thanks to ms chaya kamli for designing the flyer and certificates my hearty thanks to all the student coordinators of the webinar and faculty and staff members for participating in the webinar i also thank my fellow mates for being such an enthusiastic audience wishing you all a very pleasant weekend thank you thank you sara we request all the participants to switch on their camera for their photo group photo this is martina chaku signing off signing off kindly fill the feedback form which has been posted on the chat this is martina chaku signing off wishing you all a pleasant weekend thank you thank you